Jesus, it's cold out here right now. Hey everyone, this is going to be a brief little test video, kind of going over the um, the new Thunderbolt prototype uh, that I teased uh, in my last Fusion live stream, um, where I was kind of going through over the construction of that and some of the things I was kind of trying to do uh, in order to actually make this new Thunderbolt just a little bit better. And here it is. This is the my miniature Thunderbolt now. This has been revised. Uh, this is not complete, of course. It doesn't have the actual blower cabinet and the uh, the blower the blower for it and everything like that. But this is functionally kind of what I wanted to look at. And of course, some things aren't secured properly. As you can see, there's just tape basically holding the rotator cabinet closed. This one is this one in particular is four five port. Um, however, I've designed it in a way that it can actually be removed and the rotors can be swapped in it. Take these four screws out on top right here and then one screw that's underneath on the horn support and then the whole horn and stator will come off and you can take the rotor out, put on a different rotor and then basically essentially change the model. So I'm pretty much going to be calling this one probably the Thunderbolt 1000X um, because it's not necessarily a 1000T, but it's also not necessarily a 1000, um, and it can be rotor swapped. Um, so four, five, single tone, five, and then five, six. And let's go ahead and get a bit of a test video of it and see what it sounds like. I'm going to do one close up, and then I'm going to go ahead and actually put the camera at the previous location to see if we can get kind of an ambience of it. So I'd be really curious to see what it sounds like. I'm actually going to be supercharging this with a air mattress blower because that's what I used on my used on my old Thunderbolt. Some idiots yelling in the background. This is going to be a bit of a fast rotation speed because there is actually no circuit to actually control the rotator speed just yet, but I will be implementing that in the future when this thing is actually finalized, but I really want to get a test video of it actually running. Try to hold it straight up as best as I can. I was at a very, very low chopper level and it was, I could feel that rumbling in my chest because I'm so close to it. Let's go ahead and uh, walk off and put this over there and get some ambience and see kind of what this sounds like from a distance because I know this is probably going to be echoing off of this general kind of area that I'm in and we'll see if it sounds any better. Um, but yeah, that's a little taste of what it sounds like at least up close and that's with 4.5 again. So I might actually not have the rotator set, but I, I don't know, we'll, we'll try it out. Okay, now this is my usual ambience kind of area that I test at. I'm going to be down there in that little hutch area. Now I do have the microphone actually facing backwards from where I'm going to be setting the siren off to see if I can get a better ambience. Let's go ahead and see what it sounds like.
But yeah, that's essentially what I have so far. More progress videos will follow as I uh, do more work on it. As again, it's pretty much just the head. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys stick along and get to see the uh, finalized version in the future, but I really wanted to kind of satisfy some people that were really wondering um, what it sounds like. So cold out here. My hands are starting to change colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all packed up and uh, head back inside, hopefully to come out here and test this. Um, once I get the parts to actually have the blower motor built for it, um, and then, uh, yeah, you guys will get to see that in the future.